Hello everyone, this is Prem Kumar. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the most common question which we get during the PEGA development. PEGA always recommends us not to use the commit operation or commit method as well as the right now method parameter. As you can see in the OBJ save, usually you have an option to do the right now to commit it as soon as possible. And PEGA provides us a severe warning whenever you use that option. Only in very, very rare situation you can use that. But in most of the time, you can always not to use the commit method as well as the right now parameter. Okay, what is the reason why we should not use that? A simple answer is to maintain the data integrity. So what I meant data integrity is, let me take a very simple example. Let's take a payment solution. I want to do some kind of transfer to a different person. It's like a money transfer. So at a high level, what can be done is I'll be logging in into my account. I'll be doing the transfer and the money should be withdrawn from my account and then it should be deposited into the next person. Just think that let's say there is some kind of network failure or something happened or something broke in the middle so that the payment is not successful. But in this situation, if the amount is already withdrawn, totally withdrawn and committed, it is removed from my account. And if it stays in the middle, if it gets lost in the middle, then the entire business transaction is not completed, right? Here, if you look at the business transaction, there is only one business transaction. The payment needs to be transferred. That is the business transaction. There are different actions like amount is withdrawn from my account deposited into the other account there are two actions and both should be completed in a sync manner if one fails the other should fail right that is how a payment transaction works that is how a data integrity is maintained if the amount is withdrawn from my account and the amount is not transferred to the other account then the data integrity is never maintained then the payment solution is totally broken right so this is what we call the data integrity okay now let's talk about the pega application Let's assume that in a PEGA application, we have an assignment and in that assignment, end users can perform different actions. They can attach the documents. They can update some properties which are present in the form or they can also add some work parties. These are all different operations, right? Now, let's say in this assignment, if the end user is satisfied, he wants to complete the business transaction or he want to complete the process or the flow action, he can go to the next screen by clicking on the submit button. Now, let's say as soon as you attach the document, if you do some commit, let's say attachment is already committed. Updating a case and adding a work party is never committed. And only when you submit, if you commit, there are two different transactions here, right? Ideally, in every time you should have it as a single transaction, especially when you work with a case or a flow, you should take all the actions like attaching, like adding an work party or queuing to some instance, everything, whatever actions you take, always try to maintain it within a single transaction so that you have one single point of failure. Let's say after submit, if there is some error with the attachments, then this process fails. In that situation, none of the things will be committed. If attachment is getting failed, I don't want to add an work party. I still want to stay on the same assignment so that end user can come back and do the update and do a submit. So this is how you can maintain the data integrity when you work on a case. Let me give you another example with the climbs records. If you take at this example, we are already familiar with the climbs records. In the investigation stage, there is a check, the end users check if it is related to some fraudulent activity. If it is fraudulent activity, the end user need to save the instance into a dedicated DB table and also they need to send or make an API call to the external system. Now, if you take, there are two actions here. One, we are saving it into our database and we are also informing it to the external system. If you take, this should be a single transaction. In my implementation, I will be using some background processing jobs to perform the API call. So technically, whenever I click submit, I have to do two actions. One, I have to save it into my dedicated data table, as well as I have to save a queue instance to any kind of jobs. And that queue instance will make an API call. Now, if you look at the transaction, there is always only one transaction. If I identify it as a fraud, I have to save it into my DB table. I have to save a queue instance. Both these should be always one transaction. Let's say if we make it as a different, different transactions and 
if saving into my db table fails but queuing an instance succeeded then queuing will make an api call to different application but that data is not available into our database right so these type of things you can think in your mind you can decide what type of transaction it should be mostly when you work with any process as this comes under the investigation process it should be a single transaction so it means you need to have one single point of commit to do all those db updates okay now we say we need to have one point of commit but we should add to some list right we should say what type of thing should be committed we should let pega know that is where the deferred save instance comes in in obj save if you don't use the right now it adds an entry into deferred save so every requester will have a list of deferred save deferred the term refers to delayed save so it means like it is saved but it is never committed to the database it waits for the commit operation it gets added the deferred save gets added how many times you do obj save without right or obj delete without right now you get everything into the deferred list and once a commit operation is performed all the deferred list gets updated or gets committed so that is where technically the database transaction takes place where the data gets updated so just think about the data integrity in mind whenever you want to use obj save right now or commit method just think about the data integrity and make sure if you want to have it as a single transaction or a separate transaction now i'll go to destiny studio and quickly explain you in the activity method how you can design it here i have logged in into the destiny studio and i already created an activity that is going to save the fraud details as well as that is also going to send the fraud details to different application we are some queue for agent or background agent is going to do the step so i need to save two instances first is the fraud instance so you see fraud details is getting populated with all the necessary details in the obj save i never use the right now the main reason is this activity will be called from the post processing of the flow action it means it is within the process flow of a case so pega automatically do some commit at the end of different actions which i will just quickly explain but just think that pega automatically do some commit so you don't want to provide some commit operation so that is why i never use this right now i'm just going to do only the obj save similarly for queue for agent also you have an option you have an option to defer it so defer it in the sense like it will never commit it it will go into the deferred list so this will also go into the defer list so that it never commits into the db table as we already know that queues are gets committed into by default system queue default entry instance and fraud details i have have the class as fraud watch list so the details will be going into the fraud watch list now let me quickly explain you a positive scenario if i go to the data type and go to the fraud watch list first let me show you how many records are there in the fraud watch list if i see from here there are two records now let's go to the positive scenario and as i already mentioned this activity is getting called from the flow action post processing so everything is in place now all i have to do is do some testing i'm going to say the customer id as prem kumar ganesan and the policy id as 1 2 3 something and then i go to the next screen there i'm going to decide this customer as a fraud customer so as i select this option and then i provide some details here this will be captured into the data instance and all those capturing is already defined into this activity i capture it from the primary customer details and everything is already done so this is out of scope i just wanted to show you how this commit operations work so go here start your tracer and then just do a submit here now if i check the tracer let's see where the commit is executed where our data gets saved into the db table if you scroll little down into the tracer you will have some place where you have a lot of commits like high level commits you can see from here right and in the left hand side you can find different different db tables you can also find that for fraud watch list the data instance getting saved then you have delayed queue in then you have sys queue instance getting saved that is where we are queuing the entry and then you also have the work table is getting saved lot of entries are getting committed at the same place into different different tables so this is like one transaction where data is getting entered into different tables and pega does this out of the box you can see the activity that is responsible commit with the error handling activity that is under work commit that is under finish assignment it means whenever you do some finish assignment pega has out of the box activity that can do the commit so definitely you don't want to use the commit method into the activity now let me show you one more thing if i go to this activity if i use the right now here 
it means at this step itself it will be automatically committed it will not get committed into the last single transaction commit it will not go there it will already commit here now let's say if i commit here and then in the next step if i add property set message there is some kind of validation you can think it of if i do like this still the fraud details will be committed but the transaction fails let me show you this is not the best practice you should never do that i'm just showing you why you should not do it now if you go to a client's records case and then you go here just provide some customer id here i'm going to say everything as zero this time and then go to the next screen here i'm going to say is fraud i'm going to just give now if i do a submit here let's check what happens this fails actually right the screen fails the transaction fails now but our activity already committed what i meant here is if we go to fraud watch list and do a refresh you find that already c000 is committed into the database instance it is considered as a separate transaction and only after this transaction there is some kind of error happened so technically in real time what you should do is you should roll back both the things you should not commit here because you maintain both the things as a single transaction which i already explained you should treat saving the data instance as well as queue instance as a single transaction but here it defeats the purpose again if you want to do some edit then it is going to throw some error there can be some kind of primary key issues there are different types of issues which you can face so that is why always when you use an activity especially within the case flow processing never use the commit or right now just leave it to pega pega will take care now a important question what are the places do pega automatically do commit inside a case processing there are many places pega does the main important options are whenever a case is created as soon as a case is created you can do lot of updates like you can use the py default data transform to do some update you can use the out of the box extension activity to add something and never use the commit or right now because pega always do a commit as soon as a case is created the next is as soon as the case is updated resolved or reopened so different actions in turn if you look it will call the commit with the error handling activity that does all the error handling it not only do a commit it also can do the roll back that is a power if you really want to use the commit in any case always try to go with commit with the error handling especially if you want to do some commit in the background processing agent or a different options use the commit with the error handling and the third is we already saw whenever an assignment is completed whenever you press the submit button pega will automatically use the finish assignment activity inside that we have the commit actions so at different places you know that pega automatically applies the commit so use those options and don't use explicit commit and what happens when you do a commit before a business transaction definitely we already saw data integrity failure can occur there is no way of roll back as soon as you submit all your deferred saves into your database as we saw in the example we already did a commit for the fraud watch list but there is some kind of error happened after that but since it is already committed there is no way to roll back so data integrity failure can really occur if you do a commit before a business transaction and in the other place whenever you do obj open obj open by handle you also have an option to release the lock on commit if you use that option and if you explicitly give a commit the lot of chances are there that you will get lock on exception lock on exception can occur when a lock is already released before an out of the box commit operation is applied so there are chances that your lock will be lost so always go with the best practice never use the explicit commit i hope this video is informative i'll see you in the next video